Hey, everybody. How's it going? All right. Welcome. My name is Mackenzie, and I'm going to be guiding you through a PodFlow 1 sequence. So thanks for joining along. Um, if you've been watching videos for the last month or so, um, thanks for keeping along with all of this virtual yoga. It's definitely putting us teachers in, you know, our uncomfortable positions to be doing these classes from home, but it's been so great to be able to still have this connection even though we are at home. So thank you so much for showing up. I'm here representing Yoga Pod Fort Collins. Again, my name's McKenzie. Um, and today we're gonna be rolling through the Pod Flow One Spring Sequence. So at Yoga Pod, we change our Flow One Sequence seasonally. So the spring sequence is really fun. We move into a peak posture of half moon, which is a balancing posture. It's a really fun one. We're going to be working our way towards that. Also, um, I am today not going to be using any props. If you do want to use some props for class, you could use um, a block if you have that. If not, you could use anything with some height. Think like a can of soup, a can of you know, whatever, anything that has just a little bit of height may come in handy for you as a prop. Also, through one of our postures, we do, um, a balancing posture. And you may want to have a strap. You could also use like a belt or a scarf or something like that. I'm going to be moving through it today without any sort of, um, props. So you, you kind of know what it looks like doing it on your own. Um, it should be about an hour long class and I did put in a link for a Spotify playlist. So if you like to listen to music when you're flowing, go ahead and click that link and it will take you to a list that I have created. So hello everybody, Rachel and Annette, thanks for joining along you guys. Um, before we get started, I do want to say we changed the class today from noon to 1.30 because we did a um, virtual podcast. So if you get onto Yoga Pod Fort Collins Facebook page, you will see a link um, they're going to be putting up for the podcast. So take a listen on that. Um, it's a really good one. They should have it up on the Yoga Pod Fort Collins Facebook page here pretty soon. Um, what else do I have to say? It's Tuesday. It's sunny out. It's a little windy. So oftentimes when it's windy, we can feel um, ungrounded kind of flustered, the wind really just starts to stir things up within our emotions. Um, so for today, I really want to find a very calming and grounding practice. One thing that we talked about on the podcast today was how our yoga looks different now when we're not used to being in the studio, um, doing yoga within a classroom setting. Um, it's different. We're here, like I changed the location from my living room to the kitchen just to get like a different change of scenery with my practice. So our, our practices are changing, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Our yoga is how we take ourselves off of the mat, in addition to the asana, the postures that we're doing on our mat. But the yoga off of the mat is just as important. Um, like Jana said in the podcast, the asana, the physical practice of moving through these postures, that is only one eighth of the equation when it comes to what yoga really is. So for today, we're gonna just find a really grounding, settling practice, trying to calm the fluctuations of the mind. So any of those thoughts that kind of come up within your mind, oh, I should be doing this, I have this to do afterwards, I forgot to do this, almost imagine those thoughts coming up into your mind in one of those thought clouds or bubbles that you see in like the comics and just let it kind of float away. That way it allows us to acknowledge the thoughts and not completely ignore them. Acknowledge that they're there, let them float away. You can come back to those thoughts at another time. So just some stuff to chew on <laughs> while you're moving through your class. So let's get started on our mat here. So come on down. We're going to come into a child's pose today. <clears throat> so we're going to have our knees open wide towards the edges of our mat. 
And we really want to lift up through our spine first before we hinge forward. So lift up through the top of your head, lengthen through your spine, and then you can slowly start to walk yourself, walk your torso down to the mat, coming into child's pose. So maybe you bring your forehead to the mat if you can. Fingers reach out in front of you. Find deep inhales and exhales. Settling into your space. Maybe you find some wiggles, kind of moving from side to side. Settle your hips back towards your heels. And continue to lengthen through your spine. So continue to reach your fingers high towards the top of the mat. So the earth supports beneath you. Really root your palms into the ground. And we're going to start with finding Sama Vritti. So it's equal part breath. So we're going to start to count our breath here, finding some consistency with it. So four counts on the inhale. Hold at the top. And release, exhale for four counts. So let's move through this together. Inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold at the top, and exhale for four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom briefly. Another round, inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold, and exhale for four, three, two, one, and hold. Go ahead and continue to move through maybe two more rounds of Sama Vritti at your own pace. Finding equal part breath. Last round here. And exhale. On your next inhale, slowly shift forward into tabletop position. So bringing your shoulders over your wrists, knees under your hips, finding a neutral spine to start. And then we're gonna move with our breath. So exhale, let everything out of your breath into cat. Press the mat away. Inhale for cow, fill up your lungs as you gaze up to the sky, dropping your belly. Exhale for cat, press. Tuck your chin, curl your spine. Inhale for cow, fill up your lungs, gaze up. Maybe you soften through your elbows. Exhale, cat, press it away. Send your navel to your spine. Puff up in between your shoulder blades here. Two more rounds. Inhale, cow, shine through your collarbone. Exhale, cat, pressing through your hands, through your knees. Last round here, inhale, cow. And exhale, let it go, cat. Inhale, back to neutral spine, tabletop position. Now walk your hands forward just a little bit. Curl your toes under, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. So find this inverted V with your body here. Send your hips high. Really press the mat away from you here. This is going to allow you to elongate through your elbows, through your armpits. Working your hips up towards the sky, energetically working your heels down to the ground. Now you can pedal out your legs. You can always find some softness or bend within your knees. Continue to find your breath. One more round. Stay for your exhale. Find a big wide grip through your fingers here. Now on your inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. And with small steps, walk your feet to your hands at the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. This time bring your 
fingers to the ground, back is long and straight, send your shoulders to the back of the space, and exhale, fold forward, let it go. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift, fingers come to your shins, again, lengthen through your spine, lengthen through the top of your head, and exhale, fold forward, let it go. Last one, inhale, halfway lift, hands come to your shins this time. Just feel this in your body, hug up through your belly, draw your shoulders and your elbows back behind. And exhale, fold forward, bending your knees as much as you need in this forward fold. If you feel that you have tight hamstrings, find that bend. And then as you begin to gain that flexibility, you can begin to straighten your legs out. Feet should be approximately hip width distance. Inhale, extended mountain, slowly come to standing. Arms reach overhead. Exhale, hands through, heart center. Draw your palms together, thumbs to your heart. So gaze out in front of you. Again, feet hip width distance. Engaging through your legs, hug in through your bellies, lift up through the top of your head. Inhale, extended mountain, reach, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Keep a flat spine the whole way down, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, shine your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, root to rise, extended mountain, arms come overhead. Exhale, hands through, heart center, Sama Sihiti. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, reach overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Last one, move with your breath. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, hands through, heart center. Inhale, extended mountain, reach. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lift through your heart. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step back into your high plank here. So into a high push-up position. Finding our foundation, wrist directly under our shoulders. To start, we're gonna lift up through our knees. So high push up, you're pressing the mat away from you. You don't wanna droop down into your shoulder blades. You wanna feel strong in your shoulder blades, almost lifting right in between that area. Strong through your core, engage here through your belly, engage through your thighs, send energy out through your heels. Just hold here for one more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high. Go ahead and drop to your knees briefly here. I am going to demonstrate a Chaturanga Dandasana. So we're gonna move through many Chaturangas throughout class today. I wanna make sure that you know where you're going um, and that you have proper alignment. The biggest thing, the biggest injury we see with chaturangas is people not doing it correctly and then they cause injury within their shoulder. So always know if you're feeling any tension, tightness, any pain, there are some modifications. So first things first, let's find that foundational posture. So coming into our high plank here, and then we're gonna drop to our knees. So we're gonna take modified variation first. And I'm gonna recommend everybody to take the modified version for as long as you need to build up strength and stability. So from our high plank, dropping your knees, we're at an extended tabletop here. So our knees aren't directly under our hips, they're further back. We're gonna inhale, shift forward slightly. As you can see, just a slight tuck of my tailbone, shining through my collarbone. And on exhale, lower all the way down. Now you're gonna wanna hug your elbows into your body as you lower. So here we are, our hands are under our shoulders, tops of your feet rooted into the earth here. Now bring your ankles together as if it's one cobra tail. Start with your chin on the mat. Moving into cobra, 
Bhujangasana, inhale, lift up through your head, your neck, your upper back, your knees will lift. And exhale, lower chin to the mat. Now let's move through two more of these. Inhale, lift up through your head, neck, upper back, work your shoulders and elbows to the back. Your feet press into the mat so much, your knees may lift. And exhale, fold, chin to the mat. Last one here, inhale, cobra. Building strength through the muscles along our spine. We're stretching through our belly. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, curl your toes, press up into tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog is where we'll move. So <clears throat> I didn't even do what I wanted to do, which was to show you to show you the chaturanga. Sorry, I got carried away with that bhujangasana. So we're starting in high plank, drop to your knees, low plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower all the way down. One time, inhale, cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. So that is one chaturanga here, just kind of sped up from that cobra that I went directly into. So dropping to your knees, lowering down, taking the cobra, and then moving to your downward facing dog. Again, that's that modified variation, where I recommend you do that over and over and over for multiple classes before you decide to lift your knees. If you do wanna lift your knees though, we're gonna come into our high plank, and instead of dropping the knees, we're hanging out here. We're shifting forward very slightly, and exhale, we're lowering down halfway. Our elbows are hugged in, tops of your feet root to the ground, strengthen through your arms. This is upward facing dog. So instead of the cobra, fullest variation here, upward facing dog, roll your shoulders down your back, your knees lift. And exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips high. So again, that's the fullest variation. And yeah, I think that's all I got. Let's meet back in downward facing dog. We're gonna move through a couple Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskar A, just to build up a little bit of heat within the body. And we're gonna utilize those chaturangas. So on your inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees, and exhale, travel, feet to hands, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and plank. Plant your hands, step back here for an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, your variation, lower down on your exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. One more round of that together. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat, bend your knees. And exhale, step with the other foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, extended mountain root to rise, reach overhead. Exhale, hands through, heart center, sama sihiti. Inhale, urdva hasasana. Exhale, fold forward, uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, ardha uttanasana. Exhale, chaturanga, starting from your high plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Awesome work, yogis. Deep breaths in together. Exhale, let it go. Moving along, inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog, kick back through your right heel, square your hips to the ground. Exhale, step through to lunge next to your right thumb. 
We're here for an inhale. You want your right knee over your right ankle. Shine through your collarbone. Exhale, half pyramid. Or sorry, pyramid, mod like very different variation of our pyramid here. Right leg is long and straight. Send your chin to your shin. We're going to move with our breath. Inhale, lunge, bend your right knee, gaze out in front of you. Exhale, pyramid variation. Last one, inhale, lunge, shift forward. Exhale, pyramid, straighten your right leg. Now to take it deeper, you'll bend your elbows. Opening up here through the backside of your right leg. Inhale, lunge, shift forward. And exhale, plank, step back into your high plank. Move through your chaturanga. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Other side. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through to left thumb here. Inhale for lunge, gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid variation, straighten your left knee. Two more times. Inhale, lunge, shift forward. Exhale, pyramid variation, opening up through the backside of your left leg. Last one, inhale. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, shift back forward into lunge. And exhale, high plank, chaturanga, your variation. We use these chaturangas to build up strength, to build up heat. Meet in downward facing dog. Take a breath together here, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Always know in those chaturangas, you can hold in your high plank. You can drop to your knees. You can skip it all together and just meet us in downward facing dog. So this is your practice. On your inhale, walk your hands back to your feet. So you're using the strength of your arms and your core coming into a forward fold back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana, hands next to your side. So first balancing posture of class here. Go ahead and face, continue to face towards the front of the mat. For the sake of the camera, I'm gonna go ahead and face the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So <clears throat> we wanna root down through our left standing leg. That is going to be our foundation. So lift up the toes on your left foot. Find the four corners of your foot, root them down, and then slowly lower one toe at a time here. Imagine roots literally growing beneath your feet here. Now your left leg is unbroken, it's strong, it's engaged. Now find your variation for tree, Vrikshasana, with your right foot. You can kickstand at your ankle, you can bring your right foot to your calf, or to the inside of your left thigh here. Now, just make sure that you avoid the knee. You do not want to put your right foot directly on your knee, so either above it or below it. Find your own variation here. Maybe you bring hands to heart center once you have found your foundation in your tree. Continue to engage through your left standing leg. Now your right knee, focus in here on your right knee. If it's drawing towards the center, go ahead and push it back behind you. Press your right foot into your left thigh just as much as you're pushing back through your left thigh here. So finding a good solid connection. Hands to heart center. Gaze forward, find something to stare at, an unmoving object, find a drishti. Continue to breathe. Stand up tall, lift up through the crown of your head, thumbs to your chest. 
One more round of breath, inhale. And hold for your exhale. And release from your tree. Awesome job, you can pedal it out. And we'll find this here on the other side. So standing tall and rooted through your right standing leg, lift up your toes, find the four corners, and then lower your toes down one at a time. Lifting and engaging through the entirety of your right standing leg. Now find your variation, maybe similar to the other side. Again, avoiding the knee, either above it or below it, or kick standing down at the ankle. Bring your hands to heart center. Now, if you would like to move it forward, go ahead and grow your branches. You can feel free to take any movement here with your arms. One point of focus, your drishti. Work your left knee back behind you. Lift up through the crown of your head and keep breathing. One more inhale. Draw your hands to heart center on your exhale. And release your left foot. Pedal it out. Nicely done. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Go ahead and walk forward into a high plank. An option here to move through your chaturanga or meet us in downward facing dog. We're gonna find some movement with our flow. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward, shoulders over your wrists. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Exhale, draw your foot in between your hands here. So we're setting up for warrior two. Pivot your left foot so it becomes parallel to the back end of the mat. Look for heel to arch alignment. So the heel of your front foot directly in line with the arch of your back foot. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Bring your arms to a T and sink deeply into your right knee. Now your left foot, you should be dialing down through the blade edge of that left foot, sinking down into the depth of your right knee here. Now reach equally to the front and back of the space. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Paint the sky back behind you with your right hand. Now keep that bend in your right knee. Don't let that go anywhere. Stretching, breathing into your right side body. Very little weight into your left hand. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, extended side angle. So reach your right arm forward until you can no longer go. Tick tock your arms, six and 12. Extended side angle, you want your right arm to come to the inside of your right thigh, almost pressing your right knee back behind you, and then open and draw back through your left shoulder. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet become parallel, so toes face out to your gaze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, prasarita, padatanasana, hinge at your hips. Let your head go heavy. Take the gaze in between your legs here. Let your hands rest down under your shoulders. Work the top of your head towards the ground. One more inhale. Okay, for your exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, lunge to the front of the space. Creep and crawl to your right. Bend your right knee. Step back into high plank. Move through your chaturanga. Beautiful job. Inhale together. Exhale, let it go. 
Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through and between your hands here. At the same time, dial your right foot so it becomes parallel to the back end of the mat. Heel of your left foot draws in line with the arch of your back foot. Inhale, rise, open warrior two. And exhale, settle a little bit deeper into your left knee. Hug in through your belly. If your shoulders are up to your ears, draw them down your back here. One more round of breath. Inhale, reverse warrior. Low body stays the same. Stretch through your left side body so the space in between your left ribs, the intercostal muscles, they will open up. Find a bend through your left knee. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach and tick tock your arms, six and 12. So again, left arm comes to the inside of your left leg. Left fingers pointing towards your, towards your left toes. Right fingers face towards the sky. And breathe. Use your inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet parallel. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana. Keep a flat spine the whole way as you hinge through your hips. Arms stay to a T. You can eventually drop them down. Again, gaze is back behind you. This time, grab for opposite edges of your seat. So whether or not you're grabbing for your big toe, the outside edges, your heels, your ankles, whatever you can reach to pull your heart a little bit deeper in between your legs. Folding deeper. To release, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge to the front of the space. Step it back, high plank. And chaturanga. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, let it go. Picking up the pace, one breath, one movement. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Build the strength through your arms as you press the mat away. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between your hands. Setting up for warrior two. Inhale, rise, open. And exhale, settle a little bit deeper to your right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, rise up, arms to a T, feet parallel. Exhale, prasarita, padatanasana, wide leg, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, top of the space. Inhale, step back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, use your strength. Exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between your hands. Inhale, rise, open warrior two, back foot is parallel. And exhale, settle in a little bit deeper. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the bend in your left knee. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, rise up, arms to his teeth, setting up for forward fold. Exhale, hinge at your hips, prasarita, padatanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lunge, top of the space. Inhale, step back, high plank. And exhale, chaturanga.
meet in downward facing dog. Awesome work, everyone. One round of breath. Exhale, let it go. Now using your core and the strength of your arms, again, slowly walk your hands towards your feet, coming to the back of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, extended mountain, root to rise. Exhale, Tadasana, hands next to your side. So, second balancing posture of class. Keep facing towards the front of your mat. Again, for the camera, I'm just going to step up towards the top here. So, second balancing posture. This is um, Utita Hasa Padangusasana. Sorry, I had to look at my notes. That one always slips my mind. Utita Hasta Padangusasana. So we're standing, we're upright. We're gonna bring our big toe to our hand. So this is what it's looking like. And to open. I'm gonna break it down here. We're gonna take it in steps. So root through your left standing leg. Bring your right knee to 90 degrees here. You're flexing through your right toes. So this is a balancing posture. You're just here balancing on your right foot. Maybe you just hang out here. This is as far as you're going today. If you wanna take it further, we're gonna grab for our foot. So either the big toe, kinky edge of your foot. Now would be the time if you have a strap, you can place that strap around the ball of your foot. Keep your left hand to your hip, step two. Maybe this is as far as you're going. Step three, you kick your heel out in front of you. So my shoulder tends to draw in, which is why when I use the strap, I can bring my shoulder back into space and still allow my right foot to be straight. But for now, I really want my right foot to be straight. Here for one more inhale. And exhale, open out to the side. So if that one is challenging for you, I'm gonna take the modified version where I'm just keeping my right foot flexed and right knee bent out to the side. We're still getting the hip opening. We're still getting the strength through our right leg here. One more inhale. And to release, come out the same way that you came in. Awesome job. Other variation. I'm gonna use this here kind of as a strap just so you can see what it looks like to have a prop. Balance here on your right standing leg. Left knee comes bent at 90 degrees. There we go. Now we wanna grab for either the inside outside edges of our foot, our big toe, or if we're finding the strap, go ahead and place it, the ball of our foot. We're here for an inhale. Exhale, kick out in front of you. So here's where the strap comes into play. It allows me to draw my left shoulder back into space and keep my left leg long and straight. Stay here or use your exhale to open up to the side. Your right hip may splay out, draw it back in, flex your left toes and breathe. One more inhale and come back out the same way you came in. That is a tough one to do as you're speaking and doing this at the same time. So awesome job, virtual high fives, elbows, necks, whatever works for you. Back at the edge of the mat, we're gonna move through another flow here before we move into our peak posture of half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale, extended mountain, reach. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, walk forward, chaturanga, or meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Shift it forward, we're building strength. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge, step to your right foot. Now our feet are gonna stay the same. They're on two 
separate train tracks here. We're just moving with our upper body. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms overhead. Fingers work towards the sky. Keep a deep bend through your right knee. Now your left leg here, it's long and straight. What is your heel doing on the left side? Is it sinking down towards the mat? Or if you lift up through your heel, you find a little bit more length through that left leg. Tug in through your low belly. Use your exhale, airplane your arms, swoop your arms down and back, keep your chest lifted, hug your elbows back behind you. Continue with the bend in your right knee. Inhale, crescent proper. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. So draw your right hand back behind you, left fingers face towards the front. So you're finding this twist in your mid to upper spine. Keep lifting through the top of your head. Keep bending through your right knee. Breathe here, one more inhale. Hold for your exhale. Inhale, crescent towards the front, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, lunge. Plant your hands, high plank. Chaturanga here, move through it at your own modifications. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, kick back, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Reach overhead, sink into your left knee. Now you're gonna feel some stretching along the front side of your right hip. Lift up through your right heel. Hug in through your low belly. Maybe you take your gaze up to the sky. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms, swoop them down and back. Inhale, crescent proper. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Feeling this twist from your mid to upper spine. Left arm and fingers point back behind you. Right fingers point out in front of you. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, lunge. Plant your hands. Step back, high plank. Move through your chaturanga. So high plank. Use your exhale to lower down to your belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Have to open up window here. Now we're gonna move through that same flow here, linking breath to movement. So we're gonna pick up the pace with that short little flow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Exhale, step through to lunge next to your right thumb. Inhale, crescent, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, airplane your arms. Swoop them down and back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open arm twist. Inhale, Anjaneyasana to the front. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick back. Exhale, lunge, left thumb. Inhale, crescent proper. Exhale, airplane your arms, swoop them down. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, open arm, twist, draw your left hand back. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, forward. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Beautiful work, everyone. Meeting downward facing dog. Now go ahead and shift forward into a high plank here. Now we are going to hold. You can stay here in a high plank or drop down onto your forearms. That time has already begun. If you're down onto your forearms, hands can be at an 11, palms face down, or interlace your hands, your grip right in front of your face. If you're lifting up through your knees, think long line of energy through your entire body, you're hugging up right in between your shoulder blades, hugging up through your belly, lifting through your thighs, energetically sending your elbows back to your toes. Drop to your knees at any time. We are well over halfway. Think three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more rounds. Inhale here. Hold for your exhale. Last push. Inhale. And exhale. You can slowly lower all the way down onto your belly. Woo! Just take like one round of breath here. You can stack your hands on top of each other. Bring the top of your head back onto your hands. One round of breath. Hands under your shoulders. Curl your toes. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. So this is our last little push. We're going to move through a short flow to work into our peak posture, Ardha Chandrasana. So inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lunge. Sorry, you're going to step in between your hands. So you want to toe heel your right foot directly in between your hands. Curl your back foot. Rise up, warrior two. And exhale, settle into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. So we've been here before. Maybe you just hang out here with your extended side angle. If you wanna move into your peak posture, we're gonna move into Ardha Chandrasana. So bring your left hand down to your hip. Now toe heel your left foot in about a couple feet. Draw your right fingers down towards the ground. Now we're going to be balancing on our right leg. So slowly lift off of your left leg as you straighten through your right leg. Now your left leg you're bringing about as close to parallel to the ground as you can. I'm going to use my water bottle here as a prop. Keep your left toes flexed so you're stamping that left foot into the wall back behind you. Now last step here, when you are ready, you can open up with your left hand, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. One point of focus here, keep breathing, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down into a warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands back, lunge, high plank, and move through your chaturanga. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Last little push here. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step right in between your hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, settle into the bend in your left knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. So again, hang out here if you're building strength and working to open your hips. Otherwise, draw your right hand down to your hip, toe heel your right foot in significantly so that your left fingers start to work towards the ground. Now, balancing on your right foot, slowly lift your, sorry, balancing on your left foot, lift your right foot so it comes as parallel to the ground as you can. Lift it as much as you can. Keep those toes flexed. Last step, open up through your right arm here. You're balancing, you're expanding through your chest. You're lengthening from the top of your head out through your heel. Keep breathing. One more inhale. 
On your exhale, slowly lower down into your warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel towards the front. Step back into your high plank. Now move here through your very last chaturanga of class. Make it good, make it strong. Meet me in downward facing dog. Beautiful work here. One more breath together, inhale. Exhale, let it go out of your mouth, release the heat. Go ahead and drop to your knees and then take a seat here towards the middle of your mat. So we are going to begin to slow it down. So I wanna do a forward fold, a couple of variations. So we're gonna do Janyu Shirshasana. So your right leg is coming straight out at an angle. Your left knee is bent. The sole of your left foot comes to the inside of your right thigh here. So your heel is coming right into your crease, right there, crease, right there, where your thigh meets your hip. Right leg is out to an angle. You're flexing your right toes back to your face. Right. Inhale, lift up through your fingers. Twist open so you're squaring your shoulders with your toes. And then exhale, hinge forward. John Yushar Shasana. Forward fold, finding this compression here on the front side body. We wanna keep our spine as long and straight as we can. So gaze to your toes, work your chin to your shin. We're not rounding in here, we're expanding through our collarbone. One more round of breath. Inhale, slowly walk your hands up your legs. And then we're gonna switch out our feet here. So left leg goes out long, bend your right knee, bring the sole of your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Now inhale, reach up high, turn towards your left toes and hinge forward. Janyu Shasana. forward fold. Right heel is to the inside of our left thigh right at that crease, drop your right shoulder to the ground. This is gonna help square off, lift up through your collarbone, through your chest, and then bend your elbows to take it any deeper. To release slowly, just walk your hands up your legs. We're gonna do it towards the front now. So both legs out in front of you, again, Flex those toes towards your face. If you tend to be tight within your hamstrings or your calves, go ahead and take the slight bend of your knees right away at the beginning. Remove any real estate from beneath your sits bones. Inhale, lift up through your fingers, through the top of your head, through your spine, and exhale, fold forward. So we're hinging at our hips. We're keeping a flat spine the whole way, gazing out in front of us. And then lengthening our legs when the time comes, when we find that flexibility. Chin to your shins. Keep gazing out in front of you to take a deeper bend through your elbows. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. And then release slowly. Walk your hands back up your legs. We're gonna come lying onto our back. You can bend your knees. I like to reach my arms out in front of me and then slowly lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and bring your knees up into your chest, curl up into a little tiny yogi ball. And then go ahead and take a full body stretch. Kick your legs out in front of you, reach your arms back behind you. Now bend your knees. We're going to take constructive rest. So toe heel your feet out towards the edges of your mat. Let your knees drop in towards one another. Options here for your hands. You can bring your arms out to cactus. If you want to find that grounding, that connection with your foundation, 
Go ahead and take one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Close your eyes, soften here through your eyelids. Come back to your breath. Feel your belly rise on your inhales and feel your belly drop on your exhales. Earth is supporting you. This practice is helping to support you as well. To remove yourself from this posture, you'll slowly begin to toe heel your feet back towards the middle of your mat. And we're going to let our knees open wide towards the edges of your mat here. So bring the soles of your feet together as you drop open with your knees, opening up like a book. Butterfly legs, supta kanasana, reclined, bound angle. You switch out your hands, opposite hand to belly and heart. Again, feel the support beneath you. Let your knees continue to soften. Let your hips soften. Draw your breath and your focus down to your hips, to the inside edges of your hips. Allow them to soften. Again, any thoughts that may arise, imagine them as a little thought cloud, acknowledge, and then let it drift on by. Be here in your stillness and your silence. Now we want to be gentle when we release from this posture. So take your hands to the outside edges of your legs and slowly draw them in towards the midline. I want to toe heel your feet out towards the edges of the mat again and just slowly start to windshield wiper your knees right to the left. Just kind of opening up here through your low back. We're going to use this here as our twist, just a very simple twist. So knees up to the center and then exhale, draw them to the left. Maybe you gaze over the right shoulder to feel a little bit more twist. This is very gentle. Slowly inhale back to center. And then exhale, draw your knees to the right, gaze to the left. Moving slow, inhale, knees back to center, toe heel your feet back to center. Bring your knees up into your chest, hug up into a little tiny yogi ball. And exhale, full body stretch. So as if it's the first stretch of the morning, kick your feet out in front of you, reach back behind you. And then settle here into your final Shavasana. Bring your arms next to your body. I'm going to recommend either palms face up or down, whatever suits you. Close your eyes. Your Shavasana, your corpse pose. Sitting here in complete silence and stillness. Now your yoga is like a whole lifetime within your, on your mat. You start off, like today we started off in child's pose, in a fetal position almost. We grow, we transpire, we expand throughout our practice. We move into these peaks of our life, of our practice, of our asana. And then we start to slow it down into our final resting posture. It's really, really beautiful if you look at it in that sense. 
So stay here in your Shavasana as long as you need. We often do not give ourselves enough time of silence and stillness. So even when I stop the camera, you can lay there for as long as you want. The space is yours. And if you do not create it for yourself, nobody else will. Nobody's going to be creating this time for that body-mind connection except for yourself. Soften through your toes and ankles, through your legs, through your hips. Soften through your fingers, your elbows, your belly. Soften through your shoulders and your chest. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Soften here through your jaw, through your eyes. Close your eyes if you have not closed them already. Soften through the crown of your head as if you were being supported by the clouds. Thank you so much for joining me today. The student in me honors and sees the teacher in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thanks again for joining along, everybody. We're going to continue to have multiple free classes a day on Yoga Pod of Fort Collins' Facebook page. So I appreciate any comments. You can leave them in the feed. Enjoy the rest of your day.